Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Today, number 26 of this current series where I focus on Southern California eateries. This particular establishment started up in Monterey, the northern part of the state, but has branched out dramatically. And there's one over in Anaheim. I'll get on my bike and head over there. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? Loading up my regular accessories into my backpack or book bag for today's status, because I'm bringing along that composition notebook, which houses some information from a project I did a couple years ago. Beautiful flowers through here that are blooming. Here on Catella Ave, going directly through the line of palm trees. Looks like some of the rental car businesses are opening back up. Here's the city bus. Things are starting to starting to come back. Good to see. I'm just going right up here to the next block. I don't really need to have this on, but when I go into order, I like to wear it. And then when I eat, I take it off, obviously. As for now, all of this still blocked off. Up ahead is the Anaheim Garden Walk. More or less an outdoor mall area. A lot of shops in there have reopened and restaurants. In fact, where I'm heading is right there. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. I have to go up to the next little turn in and then loop back. That's where I'm headed. open. Oh yeah, a little seafood today. Welcome back. Although, now that I'm seeing it, I might have, <laughs> this I may be a miss, even though it says now open. I don't think they are. It's a little bit of a confusing distraction not having any guests out front, but they, they are open. I just saw people walk in. You gotta love this. Those famous shoes down there, the feather on the forefront of the sneakers, the box of chocolates, and Forrest's little suitcase. Check this out. I just felt like running. That was one of his statements. And this one has the Anaheim location written right there on the bottom of the t-shirt, as well as a couple other famous sayings. Okay, I gotta do it. I gotta put my I gotta put my feet in those sneakers. These look like comfortable shoes. I guess if I didn't wanna to run in them, I could ride my bike. Here's another one that has the, the local location, Anaheim, on it. Notice it doesn't have the brand of the soda pop that was stated in the film. It's just kind of a Bubba Gump Shrimp Company soda pop. There is a $10 menu. I think that's gonna be my option, something from the 10 buck menu. very patient I've noticed with going out doing this takeout series that sometimes places are short staffed they're just getting back into things this is no exception there is only one waitress server and one cook so I said take your time I'm not in a rush but just keep that in mind if you're going out and about you know modern day engraved on the side of the wall there the shrimp boat see it kind of etched into the well, it's not really etched in, it's kind of protruding outward, is a better term. It's good lemonade. My food has arrived. Woo, that car's going, that car was going very fast. Still have not invested in a cup holder. From this point, I'm gonna ride over to a familiar spot the back side of those buildings.
kind of getting the hang of this though. Holding the camera in one hand and then between my thumb, one of my fingers, the beverage, and then on the other fingers, the dangling plastic bag. Always so, well not always, but it's peaceful back in here. Wonder if my secret spot has been procured and if I'm still allowed to sit over there. There is a security guard on a Segway down there and some maintenance workers. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Some nice shaded area. And this is what we're dealing with. Two packages. One is the $10 special, which I'm thinking, yeah, this is a little heavier, so that's probably a $10 special. And this could possibly be a skewer. Oh yeah. So here is the skewer, which I got as an appetizer to go along with. Oh yeah. Got some shrimp. That's a lemon down in there. Remember all the old remember all the old seafood commercials where you take the lemon? I don't I always watch those when I was younger and say, man, what a job. The lemon squeezer that just squeezes the lemon out all over whoa, all over the seafood and the shrimp. So we got fries. Tin fried shrimp, I believe, and then the skewer and some slaw right down there and the appropriate dipping sauces. All of a sudden, the fountain back there got really quiet. It might be going through a lull. The skewer is on two, not just one stick, but two sticks. One, two, three, six, six shrimp prepared a little differently. These are grilled. I love shrimp so much. I need some dipping sauce. Granted, you have tartar. Hmm. Tartar, not so much. The tartar might be better. Or just say part of the shell. Which I have been known to do. The tartar, oh, I almost took, I almost doubled up there with the shrimp, shrimpage. Healthy amount of tartar, that's too much tartar. I go through phases and I cannot be the only one that does this. Where sometimes I'm not in the mood to a little crunchy tail to consume it, and other times I am. I'm not opposed to it. I'm just taking it all down. That is good. I haven't had shrimp in a while. Bubba Gumps and myself have a, a little bit of a history, a little bit of a nostalgia. I get fond feelings inside when I think about think about going there because I did the filming locations of Forrest Gump about two years ago and traveled all the way across the country to document them over the course of two weeks, about a month of pre-planning, two weeks, and then about a week of editing. So a couple months of my life was dedicated to doing that project. keep waiting for someone to tell me to move and before I departed across the country flying 
to the East Coast, renting a car, starting and went to Florida, went from Florida, visited my parents for a little bit, rented a car, drove up to Georgia, South Carolina, from South Carolina to Washington, D.C. Got all of the different scenes from the movie, nearly every one, save for two, maybe three. Two that I didn't get were Grandfather Mountain in North Carolina because it was winter time. I'm trying to get over there and traversing the icy roads just did not fit in with all of the plan that the the constant traveling and driving across the country and I figured just for that one second shot well actually probably like a 10 second shot I was it was it actually it it weighed on me difficult to not go there in the winter time in the blizzards of that mountain and then also up in Maine there's a lighthouse scene where it wasn't even him, it was an extra. I believe some even say it was his brother running for him. I don't know if that's been confirmed, but it was, you know, from the back of Forrest running up to the lighthouse, turning around and turning around and coming back, and then the next shot or in that same montage is Santa Monica Pier. So those were the two I didn't get. I'll, I'll I'll take the book out and show you kind of the regiment I had and kind of how I do things. It was at a point in my YouTube career that I took a break from these daily vlogs. I keep neglecting the slaw and wanted to do a project that I could look back on with fondness and think. Let me finish chewing this rush. Look back with fondness later in my life and say, I did that. I accomplished something that only a select few would even dream of doing, would even dare to do, to take all that time and travel and expenses take a loss monetarily mo take a loss money wise to just put it out there hotel rooms rental cars flights to just have something that's going to stand the test of time that's what i did and it's etched down here in this booklet well at least the the travels i did which is why I uploaded it over onto the Adam the Woo channel instead of this one, because it doesn't take a day. Anything that can be filmed and edited in one day goes on here. So that's how I do things. So I put it in, in order of how the film goes. So I made a listing of every scene throughout the course of the entire movie by owning the Blu-ray. I watched it for a month straight every night. So probably 25 or 30 night, nights in a row. I had this pad, other pieces of paper that I have scrapped and etched down little notes, looking for everything in the background to pinpoint where all the spots were. Starting with number one, the first page has all the way down to number five. Jumping all over, all over the board from the movie order, not necessarily the travel order. See Savannah and then Varnville, South Carolina. It just kind of goes all over the place. Onto the next page, you see the little bridge, the corner, Jenny's dad's house, the grandma's trailer, the practice field. Just there was a couple, actually this is another one I did not. The Alabama Stadium was all the way up in Monterey Park. I did not, so that was a third one, the three, the last of the three spots that I did not get from all of them. But there were a lot, you can see just on the first three pages, 15 and then I, I kind of crossed and X them out as I went Los Angeles DC Route 66 a freeway ramp on Route 66 Arizona Hollywood Boulevard Washington DC Has to bring it back some memories looking at all this see we're already into 37 38 all the way down to 42 locations and not even done 43 44 all the way down to 47 locations and that's it wow here's another other little notes that I left. Looking back, I don't even really know what all these were, but they were just different scenes. A 
53 spots in all. It's good to keep a journal and at least like have have a game plan. It's key to have a game plan. I would like to do another task similar to that in the future. During that, I was not doing any of the daily vlogs. I wasn't getting B-roll while I was out and about, you know, filming other things for the daily channel and then putting together a montage for that video or National Lampoon's vacation video, which I did a month prior to that. Did one month on the road with editing and research for National Lampoon's vacation and then the next month, Forrest Gump. No shell on that one. I would like to do another one of those. I have a few more ideas. But I don't, for me, the way my mind works, I have to have tunnel vision. I have to go all in on a project. So just, you know, getting some pickup shots here and there and throwing together something. It's just not my style. I put everything into that said project. It was really intense. It might have taken a little more than the time it took me to do it. It might have taken off my life as far as stress goes. But I'm happy I did it. And I have something to look back on. Bringing up the bringing up the Bubba Gumps. The slaw, I don't know, the slaw. The slaw is okay. I wouldn't say the slaw, for my opinion, the slaw is not great. It seems like it's missing something I'm used to. It's not bad, but it's not the best slaw I've ever had. Shrimp are good. Dipping it here in this sauce. I'm drawing a blank on what this sauce is called. It's going to come to me at some point. Cocktail sauce. Cocktail sauce, that's what it is. Could be using ketchup, but I'm dipping this fry. I haven't had a fry in a while. A couple weeks, maybe? Maybe more than that. I usually try to go sans fries, no fries. I'm using the, the old tartar sauce as a dipping mechanism. These are good fries. These are really good fries. I like the seasoning on them. Before I left on that journey to do the locations of Forest Gump, I ate at a Bubba Gump's. I think the day before, or maybe the day, the day before, two days before, it was one of the last meals I had before hitting the road, before hopping on the plane going out to the East Coast, getting a car, driving up the East Coast to get all those spots. Then flying back out here to the Los Angeles area, renting another car, driving all the way out to Monument Valley to get the shots where I'm kind of tired. Gonna go home now, those spots. And a few miles from there was another scene in the film when he's talking about Jenny and his love for her. And there is, the sun is either rising or setting, I can't remember which, but it's just the sun is right there on the horizon. And he's kind of running this way. And you see it over there. And how he would, it's like very emotional to even think about because he's, I'm just, I'm paraphrasing, but he mentions how when he was out there all alone by himself running in the middle of the desert, that he would think about her. And I found that spot. And it's only a brief snippet in the final video. There's a lot of snippets that create that whole full length video. But when I when I got that scene, when I shot that scene on the camera, I just kind of stood there and got a little misty eyed. Very heartfelt for me to, to be there and think that no one really has ever taken the time to find this spot. It's like movies touch you in that way. 
and it, it was a journey for me to do that. You know, I dedicated a couple months of my life, when it, as far as the research goes, and the embarking on that journey. And that was the most emotional time of that trip. Was standing there out in the desert, just thinking about a fictional character of Forrest and Jenny. See it's listed here as number 52 out of all the all the spots. Beautiful sunset at Monument Valley, US 163, just up a few miles from Forest Gump Point, which is where he stopped running. So if you're ever out there and you get that photo, a lot of people stop and get the picture at Forest Gump Point. Go a few miles further and try to match up where that sunset was. It's not far from there. I'm not gonna eat all these fries. I ate a couple of them, but I will finish the shrimp, rest assured. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and up to the future uploads here on this channel. Take it a step further. Ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big uh, thumbs up. Let's me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. Gust of wind coming through. Nice gust of wind. Ooh, big old gust. The vlog. Okay, it's starting to subside a little bit. The vlog. My lemonade. Good thing I finished it. The vlog is over.